Do you guys remember when Apple announced Apple Intelligence? Well, 18.1 had some initial features that includes like writing tools and, and some smaller stuff. Um, but 18.2 is in the first version of its beta and it has so many Apple Intelligence tools. I it's crazy. I th we're finally kind of getting to test this stuff. We're talking Image Playground, Genmoji, and a whole bunch of smaller updates. So let's get right into it. So let's take a look at uh, ChatGPT integration. So what you're going to want to do is go to Apple Intelligence and Siri inside of Settings and scroll down until you see uh, Extend Apple Intelligence in Siri. And you'll see right here it says ChatGPT. And you actually do have the ability to disable it if you just don't want ChatGPT at all. Uh, but you also do have the option to sign in if you have a paid account and you want to link that to get, you know, paid benefits. But they do give you just a free version that, that works perfectly fine. If you go below it, you'll see this option for confirm ChatGPT requests. Now, if you remember back from the demo, Apple had said every time you want to use ChatGPT, it will ask you if you would like to make that transaction. And so I've actually disabled this just to make this a better experience. However, you may want to leave it enabled. So what I'm going to do is leave it just like it is, and let's ask Siri, what recipe can I make if I have eggs, avocado, and olive oil? So it says working right there. And you'll see this big, beautiful, of course, menu just pops right up. And it says you got a list of ingredients here, you've got instructions, I mean, all of it. So this, and if you notice down here at the bottom, it does say chat GPT, mistakes can occur, verify details. Now it's awesome, you know, just it's built straight in like that. Um, you can ask it, I mean, really anything you would ask chat GPT for. And something I really love is if we hop into camera and let's say we want to get chat GPT to tell us what this is. So this is an Apple Watch, of course, but you can just do this. What is this? So it'll take a screenshot and you can click send to ChatGPT. It'll say working. And it says this image shows a smartwatch with a black strap placed on a wooden surface. So of course, you know, you can use it to sort of uh, tell you what might be in images. And I actually really appreciate that, you know, because you can kind of use your phone's camera as a lens for uh, ChatGPT's eyes, essentially. So let's move on to Image Playground as there is so much you can do with that. So when you do install the update, it will actually give you the app called Playground right here. And if I click on it, at first, there will be a main menu just full of, of everything blank. Um, but this is kind of what you're working with here. Now, it gives you suggestions. Uh, you know, I'm the first person that pops up down here. Uh, but if you scroll, you'll see we have a themes section. We have a costume section. We have an accessory section. And we have a places section. You can also describe an image. Uh, you can do different things with people. If you click the plus sign, you can change whether it's an animated or illustrated photo, and you can take and choose photos right there. Now, I personally have had trouble getting the describing part to actually work. It just doesn't like to do that, which is expected for a beta one. But let's honestly, like you don't even have to have a person in here. Let's just do something very simple. Uh, let's click birthday. We'll click uh, astronaut. Uh, and we'll click city. So it'll kind of throw these things together and just create an image. So as you can see here, this is an astronaut birthday in the city <laughs> kind of photo. And we can scroll through different options that we may prefer. Uh, you can thumbs up, thumbs down them and, and stuff like that. And honestly, it'll just continue to generate them as you swipe through them. Um, so it's very fun. Now I do have to mention because this is a beta one, uh, this heats up your phone a lot. So your phone's going to get pretty toasty while playing around with this. Now let's say I want to create one of a person. Now I'm going to click myself here and it does an okay job. I, I mean, you you know, you guys let me know in the comments if this looks like me. <laughs> um, it, it tends to like pick the chubbier version of people for some reason. Uh, these are just kind of getting worse as I'm scrolling through here. I like this first one the best. But let's say we put a chef's hat on me uh, and I'm in summer with a royalty costume on. So it's a lot of fun just to throw these together. And you can see here, uh, it's got some crazy stuff going on. I can't lie. Um, but hey, I mean, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of put it together. 
And if we click this plus right here, we can actually make this an illustration instead of an animation. Uh, and I typically don't prefer the illustrations uh, as they turn out a, a little bit weird. Um, not completely sure what's going on here, but you know, it might actually look more true to life depending on the type of image you use. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. Now let's say we click take a photo and let's just take a photo of my, my phone boxes right here. Now I can click use photo and sometimes it doesn't like the ones you submit and in this one specifically it just picks two boxes. Uh, if you, if you, you know, if you're lucky sometimes you can get it to animate the actual picture you sent. Um, but you know, it, it sees two boxes, it creates two boxes. Um, now let's try to describe something here. So I like this photo. So let's say add a volcano. So if I click send, you said it says right here, unable to use that description, which has happened for most of my, you know, requests. So I assume it, it will for sure get better in the future. Uh, but right now this is kind of image playground and it's just a lot of fun. Like we can throw disco in here to see what that creates. Uh, so it can create all kinds of crazy stuff really. But it, I mean, honestly, it's, it's a ton of fun just to play around with. Now let's try out Genmoji because this is another really fun one. And so the way this one works, and this is actually what I was confused about is where are you going to be able to do this here? But actually, if you click on your emojis, you'll see there's actually a little plus button right up here. But there's also where you would usually search for an emoji. You can also describe an emoji. So you can create from either option here. I'm going to click the plus button and it wants you to describe it. So I'm going to say a, a cow riding a bicycle. Now it's going to try and, and figure out what that's supposed to look like. Um, and you can see it actually does start coughing up some actually kind of cool results. Now, again, like I said, as you kind of keep scrolling, it's going to keep doing it. And most of these look very, very similar. There's going to be very little differences, but it is lots of fun. And you can actually also do it with people as well. So let's say Isaac riding a bike. So let's see what it does there. So it picks me uh, riding a bike here. And you can see, I, I'm not sure what's going on in the background there. It kind of looks like an explosion. <laughs> um, but but me riding a bike, so it's, you know, it's it's pretty solid. You know, actually, I don't know it what it's doing with my teeth there. It kind of looks like it's removing one. But it it is a ton of fun to play with nonetheless. So of course you can actually just click on one here. Let's, let's, uh, let's go with this one. We can click add uh, and I can send it just like a normal emoji. And if you will see right here, it actually does populate uh, back up in my actual um, emoji selection thing. So there's lots of fun things. I did one right here of a pink dinosaur with a cowboy hat. So tons of and tons of different types of customization here. And like I said, you can describe an emoji. So if I want um, popcorn with hot sauce, we can click create a new emoji. And we'll see, we'll see what it does here. Uh, it, <laughs> it's, I mean, hey, it, it tried, right? It, you know, all kinds of crazy things. You never really know exactly what, it, what it's going to spit out. But hey, you know, it's, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to play around with. And I do think lots of people will actually find this enjoyable to use. All right, so this is a fun one. This one is called Image Wand. Now, this is another one that Apple sort of announced. But basically, the way this one works is you can actually select it right here in your, to your to toolbar. And if we kind of draw a circle here, uh, it opens up a very similar menu to what we saw at the Image Playground app. So I can say a cow riding a horse during Christmas. Now, if we send that up, you know, I'm not really sure what it's going to create out of this one here. But hey, we, we didn't get the cow riding the horse, uh, but we, we did get a horse and it is Christmas themed. Uh, got a bit of a fireplace going on here. Uh, so hey, it you know, it did something. So let's click cancel for this one here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to try and draw a house or actually no, 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 no. Let's let's draw a tree. All right. So ignore my tree. Right. Art is uh, is not my my best skill. So, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to circle this tree with our magic wand. It's going to select it like that. And let's let's just say uh, apple tree. We'll click done. And it's going to throw my drawing together alongside my prompt. And it's going to create an apple tree in actually, a you know, a pretty similar style to what I drew, as you can see there. And we, of course, have all of our different options. Now this uh, likes to default to the sketched version, but if I wanted to click the plus here, uh, we actually also have 
you know, our other options as well. We have animation and illustration. Uh, let's go to animation here and just see what, what, it, what it looks like. As you can see, it's a really nice apple tree. I can click um, describe an image here and let's say add mountains to the background. Now it did not like uh, that one specifically and a lot of this probably has to do with how you word it um, because that can make a bit of a difference. But nonetheless, right, it, I think it's pretty cool in all honesty. You can do a lot with this if we, let's, let's, uh, let's actually go back to sketch and let's, you know, I actually like this one. So we're going to click done here. It'll save this photo and you can grab the edges and make it smaller, move it around, do however you want. And I can actually imagine this be really good for graphics, for, you know, videos, you know, it might not work all the time, but sometimes, hey, you could do some really cool stuff. Now you're going to have to bear it with me a little bit for the mail app as I'm trying not to uh, show <laughs> everything right. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it is updated with the promise. So we have primary, we have transactions, uh, we have updates, we have promotions, and at the very end, we have all mail. And that's going to, of course, collect every single thing. Uh, but if we go back to primary, they do have these little icons all on the sides. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. And if we, of course, we can go back and see all of our basic stuff. But if you click on any of these, it'll always bring you to the all mail section. So that's always fun. But, you know, there's lots of AI sorting um, and stuff like that, just making sort of the mail app awesome, you know, even more useful. And one of the last features uh, added to this current update was, like I said, visual intelligence, where you can hold down on your camera control button and pull up a screen where you can take a photo of a certain object and it look through both ChatGPT and Google to sort of find what that object is and you can ask information about it, which is basically the same as Google Lens and is, of course, not on my phone as this is a 15 Pro Max. But, you know, another very awesome feature which you know it, it might be useful it might not all right i do hope you guys did enjoy this video now apple will be rolling out apple intelligence betas throughout the rest of the year uh, it's far from being done right and even after the initial promise features are out they will of course continue to work on it for a long time um, but i would expect apple intelligence to be out to the public in full around six months later which i know is is not very apple nor is that really kind of fun, but it, it kind of is what it is to be able to have everything tested and work correctly when it finally comes out. But like I said, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I will for sure be covering more Apple Intelligence in the future as it comes out. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye guys.